All right, just about done. Then we'll start the game. Y'all can hear me? All right, good. I'm almost done with this, then we'll start the game and figure out what, uh, I left off right where we, uh, or I picked up right where we ended last time, so, um, I have to do the, uh, I have to do this crap before I can advance the week to the bowl game, so I still don't know who, uh, who we're playing yet. So we'll all find out at the same time, I guess. I just got to wrap up this beach recruiting class. What's up, Georgia Sports? Hey, Chris. Banks. Hype Brothers. Philip. Steven. Who do y'all think we're playing? Let's get some guesses in the comments section who we're playing. We're 11 and one, so it'll be a good bowl game. Kyle says uh, he read something saying South Carolina's gonna have the best offense this season and next season. Uh, no. Honestly, the best offense might be Missouri in terms of just points and yards. I still don't think they're going to be any good overall, but uh, that's all they do is throw the ball. Rutgers, Ohio State. Find out here in a few minutes. Marshall? Mm, I don't know about that. I doubt it's Marshall, to be honest. Are you kidding? You can't hear? Don't mess with me. Virginia Tech would be a good one. Adam says, Virginia Tech is underrated, in my opinion. The 10 wins last year almost beat Clemson. Yeah. I'd like to get them in the SEC if we ever expand again. KW, you make an excellent point about must champ. And uh, I've said that many times myself, sir. I just don't, if he, you know, if he couldn't do it with Florida talent, I don't understand how he thinks he's going to do it with South Carolina talent, but those fans seem to, uh, seem to believe in him by a week. Oh, God.
Adam says NCAA 13 or Kansas. Uh, NCAA 13. That's, I mean, you don't even have to think about that. NCAA 13 all day long, son. Hype says, do you think it'll be the same two teams in the National Championship game again this year? No. I do not. I don't think, uh, I think Alabama has a chance. I don't think Clemson does. Uncle Lou says, Nancy Grace on Kansas. So you typed it wrong, so now I don't have to choose. Nancy Grace on Kansas. That's just disgusting, sir. Nancy Grace on anything is, is pretty disgusting, to be honest. Banks, hold your horses, buddy. It won't take but a second. I promise. You'll be fine. Bank says Kansas or UConn football. I'll take UConn. Philip, I don't know who I'm playing yet. I have no idea. We'll we'll all find out at the same time. Tuck Dog says someone's telling him James Cook will commit to the G. I have a I have a pretty good feeling that's true, sir. I have a very good feeling. I have a pretty good feeling about Justin Fields, too. And I didn't always feel that way about him. I thought we would probably get Coral. Um, but I have a feeling we may end up getting Justin Fields, which would just be unbelievable. We may end up with three of the top ten high school prospects in America. That's just unheard of. DJ Productions, Uncle Lou, would you have a threesome with Nancy? No. No. If it meant the dogs to get three natties in a row. No. Because to be honest with you, at this point, um, I would be pretty happy with... Uh, with uh, one natty, so there's no point in me going down the Nancy Ro Grace Road in order to get three. I just can't see myself doing that. <clears throat> Adam.
Adam says, uh, no way if we get Fields, we'll be in the playoffs, no doubt. That would be... Uh, He's the real deal. I, I, I've i been hesitant about wanting to get a dual threat quarterback for a long time because, let's just be real, most dual threat quarterbacks are not dual threat. They're single threat. They, they're running backs that can't pass. Um, but Justin Fields apparently is the real deal. I mean, he's at all these camps with, uh, with Trevor Lawrence, and he's going toe-to-toe with Trevor Lawrence on passing ability. And that's um, that's unreal. Combine that with what he can do with his legs, and that's uh, that's crazy to think about how good he could be. Tuck Dog said he's seen Fred Gibson and Quavon Hicks at the gym. Quavon Hicks looks like a Mack truck. That is one big dude. DG Production says, Nancy Grace keeps it 100. I guess, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I haven't watched her in a long time, but I, I never really, never really liked her. She's from Georgia. She didn't go to Georgia. She went to Mercer. But, uh, yeah. So. Oh, for God's sakes. I don't even think uh, D, uh, DG says uh, Justin Fields is coming to Florida. I don't even think Florida's in it anymore, sir. Hate to be the one to break the news to you. I think it's down to Georgia and Florida State. Tuck says, Lou, you going to picture day. Not if they do it the same way they did it last year. Unless they change it, then no, I'm not. All right, we're done here. Demetrius Robertson is your cousin? Oh, Lord. He's seen the video? <laughs> I hope he wasn't too upset. I was upset. I wanted him. He had a good year, a good freshman year last year, too. He should be real good this year. But he should have came to Georgia, though. What did he say about it? Tom Ox says people sleeping on Matt Coral because of Fields. I'm not sleeping on Matt. I'd be look. I'd be perfectly happy if I got uh, Matt Coral. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of surprised we're in it as much as we are for Fields, considering the type of quarterback that he is. I, I mean, I. I'd be happy with either one we get, to be honest. Allison Barrett says, uh, you having a good day, Uncle Lou? I'm having a great day. Leaving out for the beach tomorrow. Be on vacation for a week. KW says, doesn't see Fields coming to Georgia to be back up for three years. I think Fields could beat out from... Uh, I, th I think Easton is the starter this year and next year, no matter what. But I think Fields has the potential. Fields or Coral, either one, has potential to beat out uh, to beat out Frome, in my opinion. No, I don't have YouTube bread. Sports Food and Money wants to know, do you have YouTube Red? No, I don't. I've never even done the free trial. Adam says we need fields over coral, need a change of pace. <coughs> I do think now is a good time to get a dual threat.
quarterback. We've got two legitimate pocket passers right now with Eason and Frome. Um, I mean, you could make the argument that UJ could win games with either one of those two guys. So I feel like if you're going to take a chance on a dual threat quarterback, now would be a good time to do it if you're UGA. Um, because God forbid it just doesn't work out. You've got two, you know, legitimate pro style, highly rated and recruited uh, pocket passers to fall back on. KWE says, uh, Demetrius said he didn't know UJ wanted him that bad, but he wanted to uh, be like the campus hero in Cal. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, look, I get all emotional and irritated and, uh, you know, been out of shape and overreact every time one of these kids commits or uncommits or whatever, or we lose a game or whatever. I mean, that's just kind of how I am. But, I mean, I... I Sometimes kids just want to go away from home to go to school. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, as a fan, you want every good player to want to play for UGA. But the reality of the situation is that a lot of times that's just not the case. DG again is saying Justin to Florida makes the most sense. I mean, they're they're the ones that need a quarterback the most, that's for sure. But everything I'm hearing about Justin Fields says Georgia or Florida State. So we'll see. Tuck says, you make me want to get an Xbox PS3 just to play the old NCAA football. That's all I play on this old Xbox anymore. Well, I have a couple of old Guitar Hero games, and every once in a while I'll get the I'll get that out. Well, Nick Chubb finished third for the Heisman. Fiesta Bowl versus OU. So there it is. We're taking on Arizona. I mean, uh, Oklahoma, out in Arizona in the Fiesta Bowl, Glendale, Arizona. So there you have it. Roquan Smith won the Chuck Bednarik Award. Good job, Roquan. Roquan Smith won the Bronco Nagurski Award. Well, he had a monster year. Roquan Smith won Linebacker of the Year. Wow. Roquan is a beast. He's a beast, son. Adam says, what games do you plan on attending in Athens this year? I haven't decided uh, yet. I'm not uh, I'm not sure. Uh, what mic do I use? Um, it's not an expensive one. I mean, it's not like a Yeti or, uh, or a Snowball or anything like that. It's, a, it's just a cheap uh, USB microphone. I can't remember what kind it is or where. I think I ordered it online. Tom Ock says, Oni Kuno reaction video coming soon. Man, forget him. I, 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 he blocked me. I think he still got me blocked. Sensitive baby. Blocked me on Twitter. Blocked me on YouTube. He's too sensitive. All right, here we go. Andy Summers says, remember when Georgia rallied 21 three deficit against Virginia Tech to win the Peach Bowl 2006? Was that 2006? I guess it was. <clears throat> somebody's asking where i heard that about justin fields being down to florida state and florida uh they interviewed uh some of his teammates i guess it was 
and some other 2018 recruits. And uh, they said that from what Justin had told them, it was down to Georgia or Florida State. And that he most likely wouldn't make a decision until uh, after his high school season is over. One of the so in December. In all of college football. Make it through your season. DG, I, I, I just stated it. Where do you where do you get your info from? Please state your source. That's that's where I get it from. Email is crazyuncleloo at gmail.com. Twitter is at crazyuncleloo. Um, and if you want to find me on Facebook, if you search for Uncle Lou, you'll you'll find me. And what looks to be a high energy matchup. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler in the booth, along with Kirk Herbstreit. Aaron Andrews is reporting All right, from the Fiesta Bowl. Georgia never played in a Fiesta Bowl, so this will be the first time. Uh, Ryan, no, this isn't a playoff game because these games are these games are old. This is these games came out before there was a college football playoff. So this is based around the BCS system. So this is one of the four BCS games. <clears throat> The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He got all of that one. He's to the 20. Oh, man. Did he Tom Ock says uh, he's hearing also it's a FSU-UJ battle, maybe Auburn, and decision much sooner than December. Now, I heard Coral wants to, wants to commit in July. Um. But from Kirk what I have read, Fields wanted to wait, but I, I could be wrong. I've been wrong once or twice before. Hi, brothers, are you still butthurt about the Tennessee game last year? Yes. It's an offense predicated on clock management and ball control. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Well-designed route. We didn't make the uh, BCS title game because there was two undefeated teams, and we didn't even win the SEC East. Even though we were 11 and one, we lost to South Carolina, but South Carolina also only had one conference loss, so they played in the SEC championship game. After this game, we'll look and see. I don't even know who they played. I'm pretty sure they. I bet you they lost though. After this game, we'll look and see who played in the SEC championship game, who won it, who lost it, and we'll look at the. Uh, we'll take a look at the title game too. The Chubb fumble. Chubb never fumbles. What is this? By recovering their own fumble. DJ says, you know all that about Justin Fields doesn't mean you know, Jack unless it's from his lips. Well, I, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, but they, you know, they did say they got that information for him. I mean, nothing means anything down. until they sign something on signing day. So, I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but that's all you have to go off of right now when you're talking about where people want to go. All you have to go off of is what what they're telling other people or what they, if they put out a top three or what such and such's cousin who works with Justin Fields' aunt's neighbor who sells Girl Scout cookies to Justin Fields' third grade teacher said that Justin Fields said this. I mean, you know, that's all you have to go on. I'm not punning. So it's fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. This is a pretty controversial call. I really would have expected them to punt this ball. First down, dogs. Uh, somebody said, I can't see it now, how many games am I playing today or how many hours. I'm just going to play the one game today. Uh, we'll stay. We could stay on and talk a little afterwards, and like I said, we'll look at some of those other games and who won and lost. But I'm not going to start another season today. I probably have time to do at least one more season before the real season starts, though. So I that I'll probably do that and uh, you know live stream another season over the course of the next um, month or so. First down, ten to go. Tuck dogs. Did you update the players yourself? or get them from somewhere. I did the update myself, and I only updated UGA uh, because it takes a really long time. God bless. It takes a really, really long time. I mean, I um, I changed everybody's height and weight and made it accurate. Um, I changed everyone's hometown. If they were a senior, I made them a senior. If they were a freshman, I made them a freshman. I mean, it took a long time to go through and do that with just UGA. 
there are full rosters you can download. The problem is, this is NCAA 13. The last one they made was NCAA 14, okay? You can download full rosters, and God bless the people that take the time to make full rosters for 100 and something teams, but believe it or not, every year people do it. And you can download that uh, full roster for NCAA 14, though. It's hard to find somebody that's done a current roster for NCAA 13. Most of the rosters that you can find for NCAA 13 are 2015 rosters. You can't find a 2017 roster for NCAA 13. Um, you can find them for 14, and so then people say, well, why don't you play uh, NCAA 14? I like NCAA 13, the game. I think it's a better game than NCAA 14. So that was a long, drawn-out way to answer your question, but... Can't find anyone open. Oh, get this turd bucket. He's got room to work. He's at midfield. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take Taste off. Taste the rainbow says, am I the only Ohio State fan in here? Uh, probably. Like there's, I mean, there, there's several Ohio State fans who, uh, who watch Uncle Lou videos because I see them in the comment section sometimes, but you might be the only one that's on the live stream. Would I rather eat a cactus or kiss Nancy Grace? I would probably kiss Nancy Grace before I ate a cactus. I won't lie. It's third down, and this well, Oklahoma's quarterback's out. Took one good hit, and he's down for the well, count. Big the 12 is toilet paper. Now, who's this backup now? Awesome running here on third down. He wants to get it. You can get sent home early, too, sir. Keep running the ball like that if you want to. You're going to get chin checked, too. Snot bubble, son. Coming soon. From the 38 yard line. First down. Now, who's, who's covering the offensive tackle? What in the, now, what kind of nickel and dime shit is this where the offensive tackle is 10 yards downfield catching passes? This is going to be just like the South Carolina game. I can see it now where the damn machine cheats on you. This is ridiculous, dude. Drops back to pass. Throws it to the outside. What? Cover that man! See, this is exactly what happened in the Carolina game. Wide receiver made this play. They got great concentration from everyone to connect on that flag pattern. Jesus. Oklahoma up six. And he adds the extra point. So a four-play, 61-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. I'm running it out. Come on, Miko. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's tackled. Nice return. Past, past the 30. With an injury update, here's Aaron Andrews. Thanks, Brad. Trevor Knight out he two weeks with a strained back. back. Well, they're going to take back. him the game right now, and he's going to be reevaluated tomorrow. There is a concern. Jesus. Significant amount of time. Brad. Time for the chub train, man. Forget all this. Let's hope he's better and back on the field soon. Thanks, Aaron. From their own 31 yard line. Tuck Dogs, I'm hearing Robert Bill might not be joining us in Athens. Any truth? It looks like that may be the case. A grades here. issue is what nice I'm hearing. We may have right to go side. Juco. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Hi, right, bros. Do you watch UGA games with your kids? Uh, my daughter is not very interested. My son is uh, eight. So he's interested, but he's not interested for three and a half hours. So he, he won't sit and watch the whole game with me, but he will watch uh, he will watch some of the game with me. So they're gonna go for it here, especially if it's close at the end or 
This is kind of a surprise. Like I'll let him know when right it gets close to the end. This is an obvious and, putting and situation. Come watch that. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. Big stop by the defense. Hey, it's the last game of the season. Might as well pull out all the stops. Oh my god. They said I didn't get that first down. They'll go to work That's bull. At the 41. Oklahoma up seven points. Pass incomplete. Trying to get it to his receiver. The receiver couldn't catch up to that. Yeah, Wyatt and Beal. I, th I think there's a conscious of the blitz. Okay, chance one of them will make it. And there's a pretty good chance one of them won't. Second and ten. Austin says Star Wars or Star Trek. Great question, sir. I am a huge, huge, huge Star Wars fan. Uh, Star Trek, not so much. I don't even know if I have ever seen any Star Trek movie from beginning to end. I have just never gotten into it, but I'm a huge um, Star Wars fan. And Lou Jr. is now, too, which is great. The new movies are coming out at a perfect time for him. Um, and I'm able to get him... Uh, Involved in Star Wars through the new ones. He's got it with room to run. And he is drilled. I never would have been able to get him to sit down and watch movies from the late 70s and early 80s, the original Star Wars, with me if there weren't new Star Wars movies still coming out. So um, so that was great. So he's seen he's seen he's seen every Star Wars movie. He's seen the original three, he's seen the three that they remade. And he's, uh, we went and saw part seven when it came out, and we'll be going to see part eight uh, this December, I guess it is, that comes out. And we even went and saw the offshoot. Uh, what was the name of that one, the one that came out this past Christmas that wasn't part of the series, but was a standalone <coughs> but was a standalone movie. Kirk, that was a nice grab DJ, uh, do I watch Dragon Ball? No, no I'm not into any type of anime. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. It's BLST wants to know what's my, uh, what's and Mrs. Lou's favorite team. She really could care less about football. <clears throat> she never watches any of the games. Um, she doesn't even really understand it or whatever. She just never really got into it. So she's not really a fan of any team, but I've said before, she... Uh, got her bachelor's degree from Florida State and her master's from South Carolina. So it's a good thing she's not a football fan because if she rooted for any one of those two teams, uh, we'd have a big problem. But she doesn't. She could care less. If Georgia and South Carolina are playing, she'll she'll pull for Georgia. If Georgia play, were to play Florida State, she'd pull for Georgia. She just doesn't care about about football or the fact that she went to either of those schools. So Oklahoma can make this a two possession game with this field goal. It's up, and he got it. Well, we are in a hole here. DJ says watching the first Star Wars is torture. Now, I don't, I don't, are you? I don't know what you're talking about. You, you're talking about the first of the second trilogy, right? Which would have been like for like episode one, right? That came out 15 years ago or whatever it was. Not the one that came out in the 70s. Yeah, that movie was terrible. I agree. That whole trilogy was terrible, in my opinion. Uh, but if you're going to get into Star Wars and they're making a whole other trilogy and all that, I think it's worth watching just so you understand the full backstory. But I agree that Episode 1, 2, and 3 were not very good. 4, 5, and 6 are three of the greatest movies of all time. And I thought Part 7 uh, was close to being as, as good as, as some of the original three. Yes, the second trilogy is absolutely awful. I agree. New Hope is great. Yep. I, I yeah, I get what you're saying now. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. And they got. 
Really, Eason? It's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Adam says, how come Miss Lou doesn't appear in more videos? Uh, she She's not into the whole YouTube thing. Um, there's plenty of pictures of her on Facebook. Uh, but it's hard for me to talk her into uh, participating in any of the YouTube stuff. And my daughter, if you go way back on my channel, you'll see that my daughter was in a lot more videos two and three years ago than she is now. As she's gotten older... Uh, I, you know, she's started to care, I guess, more about that sort of stuff. And doesn't really want to be in it, but Lou Jr. likes being in there. Austin Bryson, is there playoffs in this game? No. Favorite band? That's hard to answer. Um... I mean, obviously, uh, you guys know I like Tool. I use them in a lot of uh, a lot of the videos I do. So they're probably my favorite rock band. Um, but I listen to all different types of music. Um, Garth Brooks is by far my favorite country artist of all time. Um, I love Tupac. First quarter, but I, wouldn't be surprised if things in a big um, I like a lot of the Atlanta music from the uh, late 90s, mid to late 90s. Yeah, you know, Outkast. Uh, you know. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. KW says you have more people watching you play a video game than Georgia Tech that has at the stadium. The yeah, line. it's sad that they, a city the size of Atlanta can't sell out a, a Power 5 college football game. Get him. That's had a 15-yard loss. I'll take it. Pokemon Go. <laughs> Chris said he saw somebody in his late 30s playing Pokemon Go at KFC. Lou Jr. downloaded Pokemon Go on his iPad, and luckily for me, because I've I've never been into Pokemon even when I was a kid. I think I'm too old. I don't I don't think there was anything such thing as Pokemon when I was a kid. Uh, but anyway, I I don't really get the whole Pokemon. No, really? He was only into it for a day or two, thank God. That should have been a tackle made right there, and it should have been fourth down, and they're not not even in field goal range. Instead, it's like first and first down on the, what, 12-yard line now? Grayson says, Uncle Lou, do you think Auburn will be good next year? I meant to do that SEC West prediction video today, and I, I just didn't have uh, time. I mentioned I'm leaving for the beach tomorrow, and I just had a lot to do today. I had to work in a yard. and Anyway, y'all don't care what I had to do, but I didn't have time to do the video. Um, uh, but I think Auburn does have the potential to be good if Jarrett Stidbaloney is as good as Auburn fans keep telling me that he is. The, the problem is I have to see it to believe it. Because I've been hearing from Auburn fans that whatever quarterback they have is going to win a Heisman. I've been hearing that every July for the past three or four years. Uh, Jeremy Johnson, John Franklin III, Sean White. I mean, all these guys are nice. Malcolm Paris with the pick. Uh, you know, and, and, and then these guys come out and, and they can't complete a pass. You know, it's not just, it's not just that they're really good, just not good enough to win the Heisman. They're trash. I mean, they're, they've just... Their quarterback play has set football back 30 years. So I, I, it's hard for me to buy into the Jarrett Stibaloni hype. But a lot of the like analysts and stuff like that seem to be buying into it too. Um, so I, I still have to see it to believe it. But if he's the real deal, then I think Auburn could potentially um, challenge Bama in the West. They keep it on the ground. Look at that move! Woo! <laughs> Oh, you ride that dude out his shoe last night, huh? Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! Look at him. Yes, yeah, son. Cry about it, son. First and ten. Ball on the 35. 
All right, brothers, have you got any Facebook friend requests? I get friend requests all the time, sir. I don't. So, I guess the answer to your question is yes. Passes and it's almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy. Coolio was something serious. Now that gangster's paradise. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. From their own 35 yard line, it's second down. Back to pass. Gets nice. To nice. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range. DG, uh, how can you listen to country music? Sounds so sad. I don't like much of the new stuff at all. Um. I don't like much of the new country at all. I do like now. I love Chris Stapleton. I do like him, uh, but I, I'm more of a '80s and '90s um, country guy. Travis Tritt, Garth Brooks, that kind of thing. He's tackled at the 47. Second down and nine. Austin and says, Lou, do you think Clemson can go 12 and 0? No. I do not. You don't re you don't replace Deshaun Watson. It just doesn't happen. Do I think Hurd made a good choice in leaving UT? No, I don't. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Quitting is not a uh just the, the whole way that thing was handled was was uh, bad, I think. Drops back to pass. Oh my God! And now he's got room to run inside the ten. Jesus! Man, that was a super play by the defender. Oh my God! And an even better return for the score. Oklahoma, you got to be kidding me. Seventeen and nothing. On, well, sixteen, about to be seventeen. And he hits the field. This is a humiliator. Adam says, do you think Deshaun Watson was the biggest miss? He was one of them, for sure. Deshaun Watson, I mean, Oklahoma there, there's there's stories I could say about Mark Riggin recruiting, and you never know how much of this stuff is true or not. Supposedly, he wanted Cam Newton to play tight end. He wanted Derrick Henry to play middle linebacker. He wanted Deshaun Watson. He told Deshaun Watson he could be the best punt returner in UGA history. I mean, I, you know, I mean, who who really knows? It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because Chubb must have got hurt. Excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Gives it to the back. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. So it's down to down to Sony Michelle and Brian Herring, and then if we need another back, we will put uh, Elijah Holyfield or DeAndre Swift in. That's just the way it's got to be. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. One of the biggest busts in UJ history lives in your town. Who's that, Tuck Dogs? It's the tailback. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. So we've played two quarters. Oklahoma leads 17-0. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Shepard back to return. I didn't change any of the players' appearances, so these are just random. I did change the height and weight, but not the appearances. Other than making them black or white. But I didn't go through and match hairstyles and all that. This one's going to be down in the end zone. For I'm touchdown. very busy and important. Don't have time to do that. If 
That's a good idea, Hype Brothers. After football season, do this every Saturday. That's a great idea, actually. And we're just about set to get going again. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Looking for his man, incomplete. Davis on the coverage. That makes it second and ten. According to Deshaun Watson, and Deshaun Watson said this, not me. According to Deshaun Watson, Mike Bobo told him he wasn't good enough to play quarterback for the University of Georgia. Option here. Nice. If you can't score on offense, score on defense, son. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Great play here by the defense. Over under Chubb, 15 rushing touchdowns. And then get your motor started. But he's able to do it. I'm gonna say that play looks smooth for the touchdown. Ah, that's a good number. I'm gonna go with under just because I, I think we're gonna spread it around a little more. Maybe that's the break we needed to get this damn game turned around. Georgia is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Who said Hot Rod can't kick no damn touchback? There you go, wild thing. Woo! All right, now, defense, let's step up. Who is this now? Dominic Sanders? No, you got to stay in it. This is the last game of the season, sir. You got to stay in and you got to suck it up and ride with it. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. Uh, thanks for giving Tony O'Carter to Texas. Well, we didn't give Tony O'Carter to Texas. Tony O'Carter knew he most likely would be buried so deep on the depth chart at UGA, he decided on his own to go elsewhere. Um, yeah, I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. He didn't like the fact that we signed Eliza Holyfield and uh, Brian Herrian and, or, and whatever. So, you know, nothing against the guy. I would have loved to have had him, but it is what it is. Or DeAndre Swift. From their own 25-yard line, third down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he tackles him hard at the 44. When they broke the that was good coverage there. The guy just made a good pass. What can I give say? Team a big lift. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Get him. Do I still want the Falcons to draft Todd Gurley? It was too late now, sir. It was two years ago. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Back to pass. Nice play. All right, we got to hold him here, score another quick touchdown, and make a, make a game out of this thing here now. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Looks to pass. He's going to air it. What is this crap now? Missed him. They're going to be forced to punt Not away. catching that way down there, you idiot. The defense, they were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Andre Popewood-Smith? No, I don't remember him. How many wins would Kansas get with Deshaun Watson? At least twice as many as they, as they got last year. Favorite Atlanta uh, rapper or group besides Outkast? And this one is uh, a beauty. Now look at this now. They kicked the damn ball to the one yard line. Know the video game cheating on you. Really got him pinned deep now. Second 
So they'll take over now in the oh, shadow of their own goal post. Safety. I got a 99-yard drive. Here we go. They'll bring him down at the one. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. With the defensive line neutralizing the blocks, these The square is Green, Jr. Uh, Green Jr. Thoughts on Tom Herman. I think Tom Herman is the next this big thing in college football. Uh, when we fired Mark Rick, just like everybody else, I had a short list of coaches that I would have liked to have seen get the job, and Tom Herman was uh, near the top of that list. I wouldn't have been, I would not have been upset had we got Tom Herman. I'll, I'll say that. And Tom Herman was interested in the Georgia job too, but the powers that be had already made up their mind that uh, it was Kirby Smart's job. But I think Tom Herman is a really, really good coach. He'll get Texas turned around. They go with the back, and he's got room. He's out to the 30. And he nice run, Harrion. A run like that usually ignites the offense. So let's see if they can stay on a roll. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. He gets another carry. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Who'd you want more, Kirby or Tom? Well, it never really mattered. I mean, it was it was pretty much a known that the job was Kirby. As soon as we fired Rick, it was it, it was pretty well known it was Kirby's job. Um, so it's, it's hard for me really to say who I wanted more because everyone sort of knew it was Kirby Smart's job. But I would have been very happy with Tom Herman. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up. Garnet Spartan, would you rather have Texas and Oklahoma in the Here's SEC the or TCU and Baylor? Waste. Texas and Oklahoma, I don't. They're, uh, yeah. Uh, much First better down, programs. To go. Ball on the 45 yard line. <laughs> and he's tackled at the 43. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. What the hell happened to the score? The score is 17. I was down 17 to nothing. So we're trying to make a comeback now. From the 43 yard line, second down. Tuck Dogs, will Bobo ever get a better D1 coaching job? Not if he keeps winning six and seven games a year at Colorado State. No. Colorado was winning nine. And, Colorado State was winning nine or ten games a year. They hired Bobo. Now they're winning seven and eight. So, uh, if Cheney craps to bed this year for UGA, then we need to give Bobo four million dollars a year to come be the offensive coordinator again. Here's a little draw play. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a six-yard gain on the run for the tailback there. That's an excellent call against an aggressive Yeah, Tupac's my favorite of all time. Rapper. They completely lost track of the runner. So I agree with you there, Darius. Four-yard line. It's first down. They'll run it. And he's taking it. Nice run, Sony. The 26-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. James Smith, Baylor will have a bad taste in everyone's mouth. I, I have, I, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, rape joke, uh, and I, I don't really know what to say about that. I, I, on one hand, I, I can't believe you're making a rape joke, but on the other hand, I'm hoping it's a joke because if it's not, that means you think Baylor's going to be good, which they're not. Bank says, watch the clock, Lou. I, I know, I, I get busy screwing around with y'all, you know, trolling me in the comment section. I don't pay attention to what the hell is going on in the game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. They have a two-pot movie coming out. It's already out. It came out a couple of weeks ago. Give to the tailback. 
What's y'all's favorite movie though that Tupac was in? Like not not movie about him, but because you know he was in several movies. What's y'all's favorite Tupac movie that he was in? I'll see. I know what mine is. I'll see if anybody uh, name lists it or names it in the comments before I tell you what it is. But he was in uh, he was in several really good movies. LSU's not winning the West. Come on. Whoa, Adam. Whoa, whoa. You don't talk about Tupac like that, sir. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he adds the extra point. And 11 play. Minister Society, Juice. Boys in the Hood. Tupac wasn't in Boys in the Hood. He wasn't in Minister Society either, was he? What are y'all doing? Just naming rap movies? I'm talking about Above the Rim. I'm talking about movies in, uh, that Tupac was in. Mine is Poetic Justice. If y'all hadn't seen Poetic Justice, do yourself a favor. Tupac and Janet Jackson. If you, watch Poetic Justice. Steal it. There's plenty of sites on the internet you can stream movies. Eminem is good, too. Eminem's really good. Eminem's got to be top five all time, I would think. Right? Even uh, I know some people think he's the the best, but even if you don't think he's the best, you gotta you gotta have him top five, right? Yeah, I love Eminem. Tennessee or LSU would be a good game. Uh, it helps Tennessee that it's that it's that it's at Tennessee. I. I I don't know. I, if I have to pick right now, I would pick LSU. I just think they have less question marks right now than Tennessee. I, I mean, LSU doesn't have a great quarterback, but at least they know who it is. Tennessee doesn't know who their quarterback is. So you, you, you don't know what you're, what you're getting there. Um, but after I watch a game or two of Tennessee, I'll, I'll – make a more definite prediction on that LSU Tennessee game but right now I'd have to lean toward LSU on that one Bank says Eminem hasn't released a good song since 2011 well that doesn't mean he's not one of the greatest of all time Tupac hasn't released a good song in longer than that First down, 10 yards actually that's good. not necessarily true Tupac Tupac's got, still got new songs coming out he drops back Nice. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's All right, third down. We got to hold him here. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy. Eminem is above Tupac. No way. No way. And I love Eminem, but no way. Yeah, I agree. No one. Maybe Alabama. Other than that, there's there hasn't been another team with more talent. Talent hasn't been LSU's problem. You could make about two complete NFL teams just out of LSU players in the NFL. So this isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality. Bye, Sterling Shepard. There's a player shaking up on the play. But we need to stop here. From the 44-yard line, first down. Oklahoma is up. No, I don't watch Adult Swim. It's a carry right side. A decent run here, right side. We have to at least hold him to a field goal, or it's going to be tough. To come back. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Ready, go, ready. 
God bless, I jumped off size. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. Anybody that thinks Eminem is better than Tupac has to be like 25 years old or younger. <laughs> From the 32 yard line, first down. Lit up. Could have killed that guy. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice. Third and long. You got to hold him here. To see this very often from this running back, he just got gobbled. Sterling Sharp plays for the Giants, I think. Somebody asked who Sterling Sharp plays for in the NFL. He's the Giants, unless they, I know it used to be, unless they traded him. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Come on, D. We need a stop here for real. Look at them milking the clock. A bunch of... You gotta be kidding me. Two and a half something minutes, they letting this thing tick down. Looking to throw. No! All right. Can they even kick a field goal from here? It'd be a long one, wouldn't it? See what they're gonna do. Way to knock that ball out of there, son. What are they going to do? They going to try to kick a field goal? Yeah, they're going to try, ain't they? Fourth down. They going to try to kick a 50 a very long field 54 goal 53 yard a field goal. 2 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Kicks away. Look at that. They made it. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchdown. I probably should have ran that out, but I didn't want to take a chance on a untimely fumble. You know what I mean, Vern? Beep, beep, beep. All right, come on, doggies. They get a game with a touchdown drive one time. Come on, dogs. Got to do it without Nick Chubb, too. Shouldn't be a problem. Nice so little 15-yard run started off. Tony Michelle, that's my man's in them. Woo! Come on, dog. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Gives it right side. Makes it out to about the 49. All right, that's all right. That's all right. Push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that. Let's see if we can catch them sleeping here. They bring them down in the backfield. Nope. That didn't work. Come on, clock's ticking. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. We have less. All right, at least got to get a first down. Come on, come on, doggies. Come on, doggies. And he is drilled at midfield. That'll be enough to move the chains. You know, you can just look at the offensive line and see the surge, and that running back did a good job of reading the blocks to pick up the first down. To the back. Go hand! Go son! Go son! Woo! How about them dogs? Woo! Yes, sir! How about that, Oklahoma? Big game boob! Woo! 
the extra point that can give them the lead. And he hits the field. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Played 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Anytime I see a defense giving up big yards on the ground, to me, there's really only one answer. You've got to cheat more guys up in the box to the line of scrimmage. Cheat your linebackers up closer to the line of scrimmage, and you've got to get both of your safeties. To take now, why would I go for two? Somebody said go for two. What's the difference between a one? There's no difference between a one-point lead and a two-point lead. Why would I do that? He's to the 10. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Oh, boy. That field goal kicker's got a cannon for a leg, though. Oh. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very I can't give up more than to change the outcome. But a couple of first downs. Back to pass. Get him. Yes, yes. Yes. Richard LeCount with the sack. Woo! That's that defense right there. On it. Second and long. Ball on the 20-yard line. Under a minute left in the game. Looks to pass. Oh, you got to pick that off, son. Who is that? D'Angelo Gibbs. Come on, freshman mistake right there. He threw it right to you, son. Man, that could have, that would have sealed the game. Kansas or North Korea. That might be the best one yet. Niggs 43 says Kansas or North Korea. Hell, I'm going to go Kansas on that one. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. With a quick throw. Got to pick that off. Ooh, I'm lucky he dropped that. All right, Looks comes down to this. To down. Drops back to pass. He airs it out. No way. Intercepted. And there it is. Here, the Hs Patrick. Right down, right the Woo! See your deal right there, son. Adam wants to know Kansas or ISIS. Kansas. I thought about it. Almost said it. I said no. And he stopped behind the line. Oklahoma is a little confused. They use their second timeout. That makes it second and ten. We got to air one out, right? Second down, 10 to go. Ball yeah, run up the score 46. a little bit. Georgia, up a point. He's hit and taken down. Oklahoma nice. will take their final timeout. Auburn or Clemson, I think that's going to be a good game. At Clemson, so right now I'm going with Clemson, but really that game could go either way. Both teams starting new quarterbacks, so that's a tough game to pick right there. Clemson is a tough place to play. Uh, that's a hard game uh, for me to pick right now. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they make the stop at about the 13. All right, that's our last time out. So we got to be throwing it in the end zone now. Somebody said put in Lou for the game winning touch, or not game winning, but for the last pass. Okay. All right, Lou. Run the score up, Lou. Run the score up, Lou. Number 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 13-yard line. Look at that. Oh, my God, a laser. A friggin' laser from Lou. Look at that. I mean, I mean, that was a part. Did you see how he put it right over top of the linebacker? Lou is a beast. And he tacks on the extra point. Woo! Two claps and a Ric Flair. Laid out. Lou the laser. <laughs> you need to call him Laser Lou. <laughs> the jersey number was 29, yeah. Lou's jersey number was 29. That was a good game. Came back from 17 down. Lou is four. Are y'all talking about my age or the jersey number in the game? The jersey number, I think, was 28 or 29 or something. All right. Let's see who won it all. Andy says, do you ever eat chicken for UJ South Carolina game? You have to. Congratulations, Georgia won the Fiesta Bowl. Not the bowl game I wanted. I wanted the title game. Damn, lost to South Carolina. Screwed me, though. Let's see why. Let's take a look at these other games, though. New Mexico is playing Florida in the New Mexico Bowl. I'm going to skip some of these. Let's see. Mike Bobo is playing Boston College. Miami at Notre Dame in the Belk Bowl. Wee! Texas at Southern Cal in the Holiday Bowl. Rutgers ten and two at uh, against Clemson eight and four Champ Sports Bowl. Oregon must have lost a couple of games late in the year because they were ranked number one most of the season and undefeated. Mississippi State uh, against North Carolina in the Music City Bowl. Stanford at Florida State the Sun Bowl. Penn State, TCU, and the Meineke Car Care Bowl. Arkansas at Georgia Tech, the Chick-fil-A Bowl. It used to be the Peach Bowl. BYU at Oregon State. Tennessee, yeah, that's a good matchup. Tennessee at Ohio State, the Outback Bowl. Kentucky against Nebraska in the Tax Slayer Bowl. Auburn against Wisconsin in the Capital One Bowl. Yeah, I like 50 Cent. He's not one of my favorites, but I, I like him. South Carolina. See, South Carolina finished 10 and 3. But 8 and 1 in the conference. And the, the problem is... Uh, they beat me.
Maryland at UCLA in the Orange Bowl. Maryland made a BCS Bowl. Alabama at Kansas State in the Cotton Bowl. Army at Ole Miss. Louisville against Nevada in the BCS title game. And I missed out on that. Nevada is number one, 12-0. and 0. Jesus. Adam says he's losing his mind seven weeks till football. I, I, sir, I lost my mind long ago, but I hear what you're saying. I, I, I wish I could go to sleep and wake up, and it would be football Saturday. There's national semi uh, ten meme wants to know who's in the championship game. It's right there, Louisville at Nevada. So now we uh, y'all want to simulate some of these games, see who wins. Let's go back up a little bit. Let's see if Georgia Tech loses to Arkansas. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see who wins these games. I'm playing on the Xbox 360. O'Keefeus Johnson wants to know what system are you playing on? Xbox 360. You know, this is the 2013 game, which means that when it came out, it was 2012 rosters. Didn't Colin Kaepernick play for Nevada? I wonder if he's, I wonder if Colin Kaepernick is on Nevada in this game. Isn't that where Kaepernick came from, was Nevada? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Oh, yeah, I forgot to check the SEC championship game. I know it was South Carolina, uh, so I'll, I'll go back and look at that here in a second. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. So I'll be out of town uh, all next week, so we won't be uh, streaming any uh, NCAA football next week. Um, but I will do. Uh, I will make a couple of videos while I'm there. I'm not sure what yet. Probably more in the prediction videos. I, I'm going to do the SEC West. Did the East yesterday. I'll do the SEC West uh, here pretty soon. Not tomorrow. I'll be on the road most of the day tomorrow. Uh, maybe uh, Tuesday I'll do the SEC West, and then I'll go through the other conferences and do some season predictions. So we'll talk about the ACC, Big 12, Big 10, Pac-12. And, uh, of course, if there's any any uh, big breaking news or anything like that, I'll make a, a reaction video next week. And then when I get back from vacation uh, after next week, we'll, uh, we'll either start another season on here or if there's any of y'all that have this game on the xbox 360 this is ncaa 13 xbox 360 if it's any of y'all that uh that have this game and want to play me maybe we can work something out uh, like that cop fizzle I need to get me one of those winning business t-shirts, cop. All right, let's, uh... South Carolina beat Arkansas in the SEC championship game. Philip uh, says, would you answer if I messaged you on Instagram? Yeah, I would answer you. I don't, I don't 
check Instagram a hundred times a day or anything like that, but I usually check it at least once or twice a day. So I might not message you right back, but. That's right, cop. You already know. Adam says he's about to graduate with his degree. Congratulations, sir. Very wise decision. I guess Nevada and, uh, shoot, who'd they play? I don't forgot who they even played now. Must have both been undefeated. So I'm sure we finished third in the BCS. Can I look? No, I can't even look now. All right, well, we're going to end it uh, for today. Uh, like I said, I am leaving early tomorrow morning, uh, to go on vacation. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I'll be at the beach this week, but, uh, I'll make a couple of videos and we'll get back on this football series, uh, in a week when I get back from, uh, the beach. Have a great day. A good morning. What is it? Wait a minute. What does this say? DJ DG Productions, did you subscribe to my channel? I will. I, did, I, I don't know if I knew you had a channel. I, I, I don't remember if I did or not. I will do that, though, now, tonight. Lou, what's your favorite video game? I don't play a lot of video games, so I guess this one is my favorite. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I love these live streams. Um... I can't believe we get 40 and 50 people watching these things at a time. That's pretty good. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love all the comments. I love uh, arguing with you guys uh, about football and talking football with you guys. I, I could do it 24 hours a day. So uh, anyway, I'll see y'all soon. Y'all take it easy. Have a great day and a good morning. Deuces.